everyone welcome back to the channel it's your girl mess belly we are doing our haul uh for what we thrifted in the last video because the last video ran a little long so here is the haul of everything that we got thrifting okay so the first thing that we got was the shiatsu foot massager it's called magic hands in chinese daniel translated all the chinese characters for me and it says like magic hands foot massager and a bunch of other things that I don't remember, but we paid about $20 for it plus tax. I'm going to list it high on eBay because I don't really see anything like it on the market. So it will probably hopefully sell for that. And then plus like $60 shipping because it's heavy as hell. But it leads me to believe that it's a 70s just based on like the encasing, like the wood encasing. So we got that just to a gamble on it. This uh, Chanel. t-shirt super cute size large um it's pretty nice i like the uh all the like studding on it glitter glitter and glamour so that's it there's that and what else did we get okay we got a bunch of other stuff that i need to show you guys okay i stuffed everything in here okay oh this bag is paying there was five cents in it five cents fell out 2012 that was a good year okay here a couple of things this i just picked up because i like it lasts a long time i love the bamboo scent in my opinion is a little bit overpriced eight dollars i think this sells for like ten dollars at the drugstore but we use a two dollar off coupon we love our apartment smelling fresh i got this because i actually don't have a duster so um yeah I, the duster that I just use is like a, like my Dyson, my Dyson. That's all that I use in terms of dusting. So uh, to have an actual duster is nice. Swiffer, the brand name Swiffer, $5. Don't even know if that's a deal, but use a $2 off coupon. These, I really didn't need them, but I got them anyway. $6 less a $2 off coupon. Redken Real Control. I've been using Redken and Salon products on my hair since I was 17. And that's what I attribute not having gray hair. Um, I don't care what anybody says to me. I know that's what it is. Salon products. That's the only thing that I use on my hair. And it's worked for me. This probably sells for about $20 each at the salon. So to get it for that price is super cheap. Uh, what else did we get? Oh, we got this. Where is it? It should be back here. I don't know. I took a gamble on it based on price, but it's a cane, guys. A wooden cane. I love the attention to detail on the cane. It was $7. Sorry, some of my hair is on there. Uh, but look at that. Look at the intricate carving. It, feel, it feels like it was lacquered as well. So I love, look at the face. There's like a, what do you call this when they do that? <laughs> It's just a really nice cane. And I see, see, I see, see, I see some on Etsy that are less intricate for like $120. So it might have to be another Etsy eBay piece for this. Not that I sell on Etsy, but I do sell on eBay. I only have two things listed on eBay actually, but okay. We picked up this. Now this was a little bit expensive. It's a fossil bag, but I love it because it doubles as a backpack and as a crossbody bag. I've never seen this style on all my days of thrifting. So it, I know it's older fossil based on the uh, enlarged stitching on the exterior. It's a magnetic closure and the magnetic is very, magnet is very uh, strong. You have one compartment here and a lot of pockets. You can also tell that it's an older fossil based on the label and the lining. And the leather on this is phenomenal it is it really is i love fossil leather guys it came complete with the purse charm thingy with the key and the luggage tag so yeah it doubles as a backpack and as a crossbody strap so you just kind of loop this part where is it no wait i think i had it right yeah you just do it like that there we go so it becomes a backpack and you just put your arms through there or you can take it apart unloop it from the loop and just use it as a crossbody bag. I love the dual functionality of it. And that's why I, I up paid for it. It was $30. We used that 20% off coupon. So it still ended up being like close to 30 anyway, but just adjust the strap and it turns into a, 
side saddle crossbody bag. It has the two exterior open pockets and then the um, zip pocket on the front. I can't reiterate enough how good leather is on Fossil. Like it really, their leather is, I don't know what they're doing, but they're doing it right, definitely. Also has the stud details, I guess, as for the feet. So yeah, really cute Fossil bag. Um, this I took a gamble on. It works. It works was super popular around, I'd say, I don't know, I feel like body wraps were popular maybe like five years ago, seven years ago, and everybody was buying It Works. Anyway, it's the ultimate body applicator contouring wrap single application. Now, I know these are super expensive, and a lot of the moms used to get into this once upon a time when, when this was like viral. Um, and I believe three wraps was a hundred dollars if not a little bit more I think actually it might have been more but the ones that I'm seeing now three wraps are a hundred dollars and there's like this viral either TikTok not I don't even know if it was TikTok a viral video on Facebook where this lady wrapped herself with saran wrap because she couldn't afford the it it works ones anyway how many are in here we have one two three four five so we have Okay, oh wait, oh, okay. Okay, so we have two that have four applications and then we have three single application or four single application ones. Okay, so in total there's one, two, three, four, eight. So total, there's 12 in total. Oh no, wait, is it 12 in total? Yeah, 12 in total. So that's kind of cool. I don't know what we're gonna price this at, but we're definitely gonna make our money back. We only paid $6 and then use a $2 off coupon. So whatever this was, we'll make our money back on it. Okay, cool. But I don't know if this is still popular. <laughs> Once upon a time it was. And what else? Okay, we also bought this which I just took a gamble on just because I thought it was interesting. It is a leather bound journal or whatever, notebook, diary, whatever you want to call it. The leather on it is beautiful. Then you have the whisp, whip stitch detail that borders the entire book. It's bound in leather. It also has the whip stitch circular detail on the front and then an amulet, whatever that is, whatever stone that is, is on the front. And you open it up, you can see it's real leather. But the difference is, is that the paper in this is not your normal paper. I feel like it's the paper that you use when you do ink writing, like an actual di uh, ink dip, dip ink pen thingy. Um, also surprising to me is that none of the uh, pages have been used or written or anything. Like it is solid in there, guys. Everything is. So... I don't know how much this sells for. I don't know how much. I, I feel like just throwing it up on eBay for 150 because <laughs> it's just so unique. I don't know if I'm out of my mind asking for that, but I know a lot of people who have thrown up things on eBay that ended up selling super, super expensive. I just feel like it's just a unique piece for somebody and someone might pay that. I don't know. Last but not least, okay, we picked up Chanel sunglasses. Now, I thought it was fake, and if it wasn't for the worker telling me that they see something, I probably wouldn't have gotten it. Well, actually, no. I was going to get it anyways, regardless if it was fake, because I really liked the, the sunglasses, but they ended up being real. And we only paid $20 for these guys. Okay, there's Chanel. Look at the side. Boom! Don't we love that? Boom! Don't we love that? Let's put them on. Okay. Oh my god, I love them so much. Look at this one. Oh, oh, Chanel bitch. Chanel bitch, okay. <laughs> okay, I thought they were fake because there is no writing on any of the sides. And I just quickly, and the thing is we were indoors and of course I'm wearing my sunglasses. But when I looked, when the guy said that he thinks he was real because he sees some numbers, it's actually etched in here, right here, the serial number and then Chanel right there. That's how they do their authentication in terms of Chanel sunglasses and when you look very closely over here you could see the imprinting being faded which means someone probably wore them maybe like they wore them and sweated in them or they got wet and the printing sometimes tends to go on these glasses so it is there 
they are real both sides like they both have side like printing that's fading so they are authentic and it's it's obvious with the etching of the brand and serial number there but oh isn't that cute as af like hello didn't come with a case but i do have a case for them and it came with a dust bag pouch so that's good and i know this pouch i've seen this pouch multiple times before so yeah oh oh here i love that they do this what other there's another one versace we thrifted versace a sunglass case and their uh case was made in italy and this pouch is made in italy too so you know it's the real deal and you know it's the hat and motherfucker shit okay <sighs> so that is that <laughs> I actually had a good thrift day. I know it's a little bit different what we thrifted in terms of what we normally get, but sometimes that's how the cookie crumbles. Sometimes you're not going to get what you want to get. Sometimes you have to get other things. You have to diversify your portfolio in order to succeed in the business that is thrifting and reselling. Like, would I normally get this? No, but for the price I did, you know. Would I normally get a motherfucking cane? Probably not, but for the price and for the quality, I did. You can't lose on that, you know. So, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know which item I thrifted is your favorite. Or maybe even, like, let me know in the comments what you would price the cane for. I'm thinking this cane is a $1.99 on eBay. Mm-hmm. And like I said, for this book, one fifty on eBay. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, don't forget to remain positive, productive, and progressive. Keep manifesting those motherfucking dreams because they will come true. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you. Thank you for joining me. Thank you to the new members of the channel. I love you. And I appreciate that you take the time out of your day to watch me. Not only the members, but also the subscribers, you know. Um, I appreciate you all. And have a great long weekend in Canada. Because Canada, it's a long weekend. And stay safe. Bye.